Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about comic book death threats. Uh, apparently they're fake. It's very interesting. There, there were reports from the trusted media that uh, the creators working on the new Superman book, you know, the mm -hmm. one where the son of Superman, not actual Superman, but the other Superman, right? Uh, and his boyfriend. Yeah, uh, those creators were getting death threats and they had the LAPD uh, uh, you know, on patrol, uh, making sure nobody harassed them, whatever. But it turned out that these creators lived outside of LA. <laughs> so it wasn't true. And actually- So me the media- The media blew it well, up. Well, here's yeah. the thing. Media blew the whole thing up in, in general because they kept saying, Superman, Superman. And they knew darn well it wasn't actually Superman. Like it was, but it, you know, it's his kid. They knew that, but they kept running with that narrative, just trying to get people wound up. You know, surprise, the media says something that's not true and starts a big shit storm. Yeah. Shocker. So this is uh, the original story, I guess, it got blown out of proportion by TMZ. And, and surprisingly enough, uh, I'll give him credit where credit is due. Uh, Rich Johnson, Bleeding Cool, said, no, this 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 didn't happen. Now, I actually He did a journalism? He did a journalism, yeah. Good job, Rich. Uh, and uh, I actually tweeted when I first heard about this, uh, you know, alleged death threat that nobody should get death threats no, you over shouldn't. comics. That's stupid. Nobody should get death threats for not liking your comic book. Nobody either. should get death threats over cartoons. But here we are. Here we are, guys. You would not. And I, I did talk about this. You would not believe the the garbage that we get. Um, and you would also probably not believe, or you might believe that there there actually is a file on us at the local police barracks mm -hmm. where uh, crazy ass emails and message board posts and all the stuff that could potentially maybe possibly be viewed as a threat, uh, they'll go to that file. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if you're, you do the kind of stuff we do and you're out there and people don't like you. And nine times out of 10, they're just pissed about a cartoon show. Nine times out of 10, they're just pissed about a cartoon. I, God, this nose still bothers me. That's not right. It looks like it's broken. It does. But Superman, he doesn't know his own strength, and if he kisses you, he might just break your damn nose. That's true. Or yeah. other other body parts. So the tongue goes to the side of your mouth. Oh you my know? god, yeah. Well, this kid's supposed to be immune. He's supposed to. Oh, be, that's right. Uh, that's impervious. right. It works because he's the one impervious person. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to impale him on your super dick. Um, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Not that's not the his most braggy dude thing ever. Like I, <laughs> I impaled her on my super dick. I there, impaled him on my super dick. There were jokes about Lois Lane for years. Like, you know, oh my God, how does she survive Superman? So you know? He's wearing a tight suit too. I mean, I'm not a dude, but from my understanding, that sometimes if you get excited even about simple things, it could it could be a problem. And, and, and it might show up to other people. Well, dude's in spandex, so there's no hiding it. So he might have got excited about something, you know, totally, you know, not that big a deal, turned around and just killed someone. You could, I guess. I don't, why are we? I don't know. Cause and, you, start, you started it. I usually do. We're, we're going to talk about this. Not that, but the, this death threat thing. Okay. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, over 239,000 subs. Woo! Thank you for the support. We do talk about comics. We talk about uh, the crazy ass cartoon industry. We actually have several cartoon videos uh, lined up today because there's some crazy ass stuff going on mm -hmm. in cartoons. We didn't do a video on this because I thought like, well, you know, look, I, I did put a tweet out there. Nobody should get death threats. Unfortunately, it happens. You work mm -hmm. in, in the entertainment industry. You put stuff out there. People don't like. I'm 100% sure people get them. 100%. I don't yeah. doubt it. I don't doubt it for a moment. But this was coming from TMZ that, uh, you know, there was there was backlash and they needed the LAPD to protect them. The thing is, is that the uh, writer and artist do not live in L.A. And uh, shout out to Sierra Whiskey for putting this out there. But the story actually came from uh, Bleeding Cool mm -hmm. and Rich Johnson, who did a journalism. You know, a couple days ago, TMZ reported under the headline, Superman Bisexual Backlash Spurs LAPD Protection for Artists and Studio, that LAPD officers were recently dispatched to patrol the homes of some of the illustrators and production staff who created the latest iteration of Superman. Um, the extra protection comes after major backlash that included some so-called fans making threats, were told the pissed off comic book readers inundated the studios to voice their displeasure with the character's newly announced sexuality. Our sources say the studio is called the LAPD. This is coming from TMZ. This mm -hmm. is the original story. Requesting for patrols to keep an eye out. 
I thought I thought some of these people didn't like the police. Oh, I guess, well, I guess it depends. If, until you, if when you need them, then it matters. <laughs> I hate you until I need you. Uh, requesting for patrols to keep an eye out, both at the private residence of some artists and at the studio. Uh, well, nothing legitimate came from the threats, our sources say cops still patrolled out of an abundance of caution, and it settled down. Bleeding Cool checked our own sources and found that, if true, none of the DC Comics people involved with the production of the comics seemed aware of it, and that there was no sign of LA police being called to keep an eye out over creators or staffers. Indeed, the writer of the comic lives in Australia, and the artist is in Costa Rica, which may be a little outside the LAPD's jurisdiction. Ooh, interesting. But not for the Independent, the UK newspaper site, who took the TMZ story and made it even more sensational and less rooted in truth, with a headline that reads, DC Comics illustrators call police after receiving death threats. I do have that one because that's sensational. Like, oh my God! Oh my God, they're going after the people who made the Superman gay because mm, the alt-right Yahtzees. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you the truth. I don't think enough people give a shit Probably. to I mean, even bother. <laughs> I'm not saying they didn't get threats. They might have, but they didn't call the police. And they didn't, and it wasn't to the level of, because, you know, you get them, you know, most people are, are, aren't meaning it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, most people just say stuff and it's stupid stuff and they shouldn't say it. But, you know... For every 10 you get, maybe one of those maybe might have some credibility to it. I, I just, I'm not saying they didn't get any hate over it. I'm just saying I don't think that they got the hate to the level that, that, that it was sensationalized to. Yeah, and the thing is that, that's weird about this is, uh, you know, there, there are threats. And we'll, we'll talk about it in another video. I think it's going to be coming tomorrow about, you know, the crazy cartoon people making threats. And sometimes they, they do, unfortunately, make good on those threats. And we've heard about people getting threatened at, at uh, conventions and then mm -hmm. actually being accosted or punched at conventions. So people do crazy shit, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's good to keep a record of potential threats, but in this case, it was kind of weird. Like, yes, all the Superman people, they just happen to live in downtown LA. And it's like, we know working in comics, like that's not the case, no. but I thought maybe they were threatening people working at the, the office, you know, DC offices out there. Um, but uh, apparently it's it's not true. It's not true. Um, writer uh, Pini Harani? Peony. Peony Harani uh, only cites TMZ rather than any other report. It's not clear where the line about the police responding to death threats came from. Uh, Harani did not respond to the inquiries made yesterday. Checking with the Wayback Machine shows no amend that was made to TMZ's original story. I think they took it down. Uh, the Metro did a similar story. Now Bleeding Cool understands that indeed there have been death threats made against the creators. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Right. But nothing that seems to have escalated to a level requiring police. A lot of times it's just like, go drop dead. Yeah. You know, eat a dick. Um, you know, I hope you burn. I hope your kids, you know, blow Yeah, we get a lot of that. Do you hope your kids, something bad happens to your kids. Yeah, we literally, and it's usually those from. Those are the ones that usually end up at the police. Those are the ones that end up at the police, yes. Um, we've had people wishing for harm against you. Um, oh, you the, mean the, the the one thing that they had the nice little uh, survey about who would rate me and let and who would watch? Oh yeah, there was a message yeah. board where they mm -hmm. had yeah, those go to the police too, mm -hmm. just in case, just in case, because you never know. Some people, are, you know, some people are just messing around. Some people are and just there are people that, and the people that were saying it are the ones that are all like, oh look how far leftist we are. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's a history of this kind of thing though. Uh, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby at Marvel were inundated with hate mail and phone calls. Oh, sure, when Captain America was published because he was portrayed as fighting for intervention of America and Europe against the Nazi threat, uh, which yeah, we wound up doing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when a mob began to form, a police guard was put on duty at the offices with New York mayor expressing support. A few years ago, Dan Slott and Nick Spencer both received death threats at Marvel over their Captain uh, America and Spider-Man storylines, respectively. Well, the one Spider-Man storyline, uh, for those of you who don't know, was, was uh, uh, Otto... Octavius was Spider-Man and Peter Parker, I guess, got to see inside his head, including when he banged Aunt May. So Peter Parker got to experience uh, nailing his elderly aunt. Yeah, because thanks to who Doc wants Ock. to see that? Yeah, and, and Nick Spencer, that was when he made uh, Captain America a Nazi. Yeah, that didn't go over very well. Mm -mm. I mean, but even, even then, death threats are a bit extreme. Yeah. I mean, um, don't, don't do that. It's not, it's not helping anything. It actually gives them something to scream about and get more attention for it. Uh, you're better just not say anything. Or you can say, I don't like this. I think it's a bad choice. But don't do that. Per that, that that's just too far. Don't ever do that. 
Um, at this time, it mostly seems to be people getting angry on social media and screaming into YouTube videos for unspecified reasons. No, there's been, they, they were very they specific. Specified. They were very specific, yeah. Um, also, the, the, again, the media is a big part of the issue here because they were deliberately going out there uh, with the whole story, trying to cause as much uh, division and conflict as they could about this, oh, they're changing Superman. But that wasn't what they were doing. And they didn't make that very clear, a lot of them. So people were getting upset because the media got exactly what they wanted. They got attention. Mm. So I don't know, Rich, when you're out here making these comments, maybe, you know, take some responsibility. Yeah, Rich seems to enjoy the chaos. And he mm. has for years. I mean, I, I will give him props for looking into this. But also, you know, Bleeding Cool has been a hive of shit stir stirring for years. Mm -hmm. I mean, they I, were like, everybody thought of it as the Inquirer for the longest yeah. time. It was like the Inquirer. Of, of comic book media for years. Um, but this is interesting. You go to the comments and people just don't give a shit, really. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, I don't think anybody from DC is going to, you know, like, you're not going to have a, uh, a press release from DC Comics being like, false alarm, guys, false alarm. And then what, you know, what, what happens when this sort of thing takes place is always like it's all the alt-right nazis on youtube they're the they're the ones no who, i've got, we've got plenty of, of shit from people who aren't, weren't uh right-leaning people and oh, we absolutely. ourselves aren't but we get plenty of shit from these extremists on twitter all the damn time who claim they're all for diversity inclusion you know we're against bullying we're against all that shit unless they're the ones doing it yeah so it's crazy i mean at the end of the day regardless of how you feel about Entertainment, regardless if it's a comic book or a movie or, uh, you know, cartoon show. God, the cartoon people. We'll, we'll talk about that later, cartoon people. But regardless of how you feel about it, you know, death threats are never, no. ever, ever. And no. don't even joke about it because here's the thing. Like, if something happens to somebody and you joked about it, even if you didn't do it and they can trace it back to you, and I'm sorry, Proton mails, not as not as anonymous. Oh yeah, everybody thinks it is. Oh my god, can I have people send us stuff on Proton Mail? You know when you're making threats, we can actually find out who you are, right? Oh yeah, but it's a credible threat. You, if you, you actually, well, if you made a threat in any way, you uh, we could push and get your name released or your IP address or whatever. Yeah, people have so a way of finding it. It's, it's not hard. You know. Just don't behave like a shit, and then yeah. you have no problem. Does, is, how is how is threatening somebody over a, a comic book gonna change it? It's not. You're just giving them more ammo to say, oh, look, I read, look I'm, I, I'm getting harassed. So give me more of what I want because the, the toxic bullies, even if they're a toxic bully themselves, mm -hmm. they're the ones that have, like, oh, look, I have the receipts. Don't give it to them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just don't buy the comic and it'll go away. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's usually what, easy. The best thing you that's can do. usually what Don't happens. talk about it. No one will know it exists. Yep. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.